Hey there everyone, today I'm incredibly excited to share an amazing tutorial on how to scrape any website using Puppeteer and Node.js. So let's start with what is Puppeteer. Puppeteer is a Node.js library developed by Google that provides a high level API to control and automate headless version of popular web browser, primarily Google Chrome. It allows developers to interact with web pages, simulate user action, and extract data programmatically. The term headless in this context means that the browser runs without a graphical user interface, making it suitable for automated tasks like web scraping, automated testing, and taking screenshots of the web pages. Puppeteer is a powerful tool for web scraping tasks. It can be used to run automated tests on web pages to ensure that they work correctly and maintain the expected functionality. Puppeteer can also capture screenshots of the web pages and generate PDF files of the rendered pages. It allows you to fill out forms, click buttons, and interact with various elements on a web pages as if a real user were doing it. So, Let's get started with Web Scraper. Before we dive into code, please make sure that you have Node.js and NPM installed by running the command node-v and npm-v. If it gives you the version, then they are already installed. And if not, then visit to the node.js.org and download the latest LTS version and also download the NPM. After you have made sure that you have Node.js and NPM installed correctly, create a project named Web Scraper which is initially going to be empty. So open the project in VS Code and in the terminal, let's initialize this project with the command npm init-y. It generated a package.json file which will hold the dependencies. We also need the Puppeteer library, so let's run the command npm install Puppeteer or npm i Puppeteer, short for install. After it's done installing, now when you look into package.json file, you will have Puppeteer dependency installed. Now that we have Puppeteer installed, let's create a script to perform web scraping. Create a new file with the name index.js. Open the package.json file and add a new script entry named with start and with the command to execute the index.js file. Now, whenever you run the command npm start in the terminal, it will automatically execute the index.js file. Let's save this file. And now let's begin with writing the code in index.js file. For now, let's just say console.log just working fine to check if the script is working properly. Save this file and in the terminal run the command npm start. And you will see it logs the message just working fine. Now let's just remove this line and import the puppeteer by saying const puppeteer equal to require puppeteer. Puppeteer will launch a headless browser and navigate to a target website. Then we will use an async function scrape the URL that will contain the web scraping logic. We are using async because puppeteer methods return promises and then we will use await to handle those promises. Before we write anything inside this function, we want to make sure that we close all the browser instances once the web scraping task has been done. We can do it with the help of await browser.close. Then Let's call scrape the URL function to initiate the web scraping process. Now back to our async function which is very important. The first thing we will need to add is const browser equal to await puppeteer.launch and then headless is going to be new. This launches a new headless browser using puppeteer. We will use this browser instance to navigate web pages and perform action. Then we will have const page equal to await browser dot new page. This will create a new tab or page inside the browser. This is essentially used to interact with the web content and execute JavaScript on web pages. Now we want to navigate to the page we want to scrape. We can do it by saying await page dot go to and the web page that you want to scrape. We are going to scrape this book website which is specially made for scraping. 
but the code we write here can be used for scraping any website, okay? What this essentially does is will navigate the page to the specified URL and will scrape it. So let's take a screenshot of this website and save it as bookstore.png. We can do it with the help of await page.screenshot path bookstore.png and full page it's going to be true. Path bookstore.png means to save the screenshot with the name bookstore.png in the current directory. Full page true means that we want a screenshot of the full page and not just the page which appears on the desktop. So let's save this file and run the command npm start and after it's executed you will see in the current directory you will have a picture with the name bookstore.png. And there we have it, bookstore.png. And look, it really gave us the PNG of that bookstore. It is amazing, right? Now, if you want this image in PDF format, you can even do that. You just have to change the extension of PNG to the PDF. And instead of full page, we will write format A4. Let's first comment this out or otherwise it will give us the screenshot again. And then let's save the file and again run the command npm start. So my internet connection got disconnected and that's why I got this error. So let's run the command npm start again and you will have the pdf bookstore.pdf in your current working directory. And there we have it bookstore.pdf. It won't open in VS code. But when you open it from here from file explorer you will have it. Uh, and look, we have the PDF of the bookstore. So this is amazing, right? Now let's try and retrieve the HTML content of the web page and say const HTML equal to await page.contain like bring all the content present in that web page and console it. So let's save this file again and run the command npm start. And there you have it. Like it literally gave us all the HTML content of that web page. Oh my god. This is such a big website and we got all the HTML content. It's never ending, like literally. So I don't know where does all this stop, but yeah, we do have all the HTML content present here, right? Let's just go down <laughs> and let's just do CLS. So now you know that we can get anything from that web page, okay? Now this looks somewhat good. And let me just bring this down. So this is how you can retrieve the HTML content. So let's move ahead and get the title of the web page by saying const title equal to await page.evaluate and whatever the title of document is, console it. And in the terminal, run the command npm start again. And there you have it. All products, books to scrape, dash, sandbox, we got the title. What we did here is page.evaluate executed a JavaScript function within the context of that web page and retrieved its title. Now let's extract the text content present on the page. It's simple. What we have to do here is basically we have to say const text then await page.evaluate get all the text which is present in the document body and then we are saying console log the text. Okay. Let's save this file and before we run npm start, let's clear this and let's say npm start. So there we have it, all the content which is present on that page, book to scrape, we love being scraped and then home all products. We can even retrieve all the links that are present on that web page by saying const link equal to await page.evaluate. The code we pass to page.evaluate function will run as if it were executed directly in the browser's developer console. Document.QuerySelector all will select all the anchor elements hyperlinks present on the web page. It returns a node list which is array-like object containing all the anchor elements. After obtaining the node list of anchor element, we use the dot map method to iterate over each anchor element in the node list. For each anchor element, we extract its href attribute which contains the URL to the link points. This is combination of array dot from method and dot map method. 
we are using it to convert the node list of anchor elements into a regular array and then map over the array to extract the href attribute of each anchor element and then we are consoling it so let's save this and in the terminal let's run the command npm start and see it will give us all the links that are present on that web page this is all is an array like it's starting from the square bracket and when we scroll down it's ending with a square bracket so this is an array it got all the links that are present on that web page now let us bring all the books that are present on this web page for that we have to open the dev tools and look for the class that has been mentioned for all of these books you will see that all the books are mentioned inside this dev and it has li tag for each of the book and inside li we have an article that has a class of product underscore pot and then we need the name of the book which is written in the anchor tag in heading 3 and we also need the pricing data which is present inside this div and it has the class of product underscore price but it is present in the paragraph tag euro 51.77 as you will see here and it has the class of price dot color so we want this and we need this h3 the name of the book this price and what else do we need here we need this article class product underscore bot and then we also need the rating of this book like three or one which is present inside this paragraph tag and it has the class of star dash rating so you have to keep an eye on dev tools when working with web scraping you need all of these classes to scrape the data okay so now let's grab all the books that are present on that web page. Let's create a variable books which will have puppeteers page.evaluate function. On the page.evaluate function, we select all the elements with the class product underscore pod on the page as we saw earlier. This class represents each book element on the website. Now for each book element, we are going to extract the title of the book that is present in the anchor tag in heading 3. We just want its text, so we are using dot inner text property and then storing it in the title. And here we are using query selector to select all h3s and anchor tag. Next we extract the price of each book using query selector and then the class of that price which was price underscore color and we want its text so we are using dot inner text finally we extract the rating of each book the class list property contains all the classes applied to the element and we use item 1 to get the second class which represents the rating once we have all the data we log the book array to the console which contains the extracted title prices and ratings so let's save this file and in the terminal let's run the command npm start and it might take a few seconds and then you will have all the books that are present on this web page amazing right we got the array of the books that are present on the web page with their pricing rating and even their names you can see here that we have got the title the price and the rating right but we don't just want all the data to be logged in the terminal so what do we do we can write all this data in the json file and then use it from there how we can do that it's really very simple we just need to call const fs equal to require fs at the top this will import the node.js fs module which provides functions for working with the file system we are using it here to write the data to a json file then we have to do something with this fs write so that the data can be extracted and can be written in a json file so let's scroll down and above the close browser let's save the data to a json file by saying fs.write file we are using fs.write file to create the file and write the data as a json string in books.json but if an error occurred during the writing process it will be caught and logged to the console and if not it is going to log data written to the file so let's go in our terminal and once again let's run the command before running the command don't forget to save your file and now let's run the command npm start 
so here we forgot to comment this out and that is why we got all these books again but you can see the message in the terminal that says data written to the file which is coming from here and it gave us the json file books.json so as you will see here that we have got the json file and when we save this file by clicking on Control plus s you will see that it has created object for each book and now it is readable like we can read the title and the price and the rating of each book and that wraps up our exciting web scraping tutorial using puppeteer and node.js you have learned how to extract data from any website and to take this screenshot and generate pdfs from any website so congratulations thank you for all joining me today if you have found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more exciting tutorials like this one. Also, don't hesitate to comment below if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye and take care.